Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Today I will show you all of my FTMO challenge accounts that I currently have. And then in the next days, I will of course also show you how this changes and develops over time. All of these accounts are traded automatically only by expert advisors. So you can see how this turns out, what the average like movement is in the um, balance and the uh, on the, the equity curve. So this is a really interesting project. If you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out this journey. And for everyone who is already a part of this channel for a long time, you're maybe wondering why I'm not doing this in a live format or in a live stream, because in the last weeks I was live at least two times per week. And I Initially, I plan to do this now also, but um, yeah, as you know, I am now not in Germany since I'm in Thailand for over one and a half uh, weeks now, I think. And um, uh, the main problem that I have is with the time difference. Like normally uh, when the markets here are um, or when the trades would be closed here, I was usually streaming in Germany. But here in Thailand, it's really late already, or at least for me, it's really late because I have a time schedule where I go to bed early and then get up in the next morning um, early again. This is better for me or more suitable than going to bed late and uh, getting up late. Um, so this is why, yeah, I think I will not do as many streams here from Thailand as I did um, from Germany. So my solution for this is to now um, make the analysis just on the next day. So we, you will still be up to date and it's still 100% transparent. So I will not fake anything or something, but it's just not in this live format. But um, yeah, just one day later, then you will always see the updated performance. But also there are some benefits, like for example, these updates will be really short and precise. So of course, now I'm talking a little bit, but in the next days, I will just give you the facts, like this account performed like this, that account performed like that, and then you can easily follow along and, and get a quick update, and you do not have to sit in the stream for, let's say, one hour. Also, if you have any questions, you can, of course, still drop them in the comments below this video, and I will be glad to answer them. But enough of talking, let's have a look at the accounts. So first of all, I want to explain all the accounts that I will be talking about in this series. And then afterwards, I will show you the current FTMO metrics for all of these accounts. So yeah, you will have a good overview. So to start off, we have this 100K FTMO challenge, which is, um, yeah, where in, in which I trade these two um, charts, GBP US dollar and USD Japanese yen. We will see these two symbols later on multiple times, but let's get to this later. So here I'm trading the range breakout expert advisor. You can see this strategy. It creates a time range in this account. For example, it is from four to 12 o'clock and then the breakouts from this time range are traded. For example, yesterday in GBP US dollar, this is a perfect example of a really good trading day. In this symbol, you can see there was the short breakout and then um, the EA closes the positions at 18 o'clock or 6 p.m. server time. This is GMT plus two with FTMO and the profit was about 500 points and the risk was 319 points because the stop loss is at the opposite side of the range. This can work out really great like we saw here. It can also work out not so great uh, which is what we saw here in USD Japanese Yen yesterday. There was one losing trade and another small losing trade. So in general, this still generated a profit yesterday, which is uh, which was around yeah 700 uh, US dollar in this account. But overall, this account is in a yeah a little bit bigger drawdown. We will see this later on if we have a look at the FTMO metrics. So this is the first account that I will be talking about. And the second account is this account. It is basically the same strategy as you can see here. And here you can also see some of the history of trades in both of these uh, symbols. We can also see that USD Japanese Yen had a couple of really bad days lately. Like the last four days were actually all complete losing days because the market was just sideways. And this is also why I think it is interesting to um, follow this live trading or FTMO trading journey for a while 
because we can really see like in what market periods the expert advisor can perform and in what market periods it will of course not perform. And since this is a classical breakout strategy, it will of course not perform in these sideways periods. And this is what we are seeing in USD Japanese Yen. Again, we will have a look at the FTMO metrics in a second. So we can see what impact this has on the uh, actual balance graph. But yeah, we can see also in this account, the strategy is pretty much the same. Like everything is really similar. The only difference is that the GBP US dollar range is going from zero to um, 11 AM here. And um, yeah, in USD Japanese Yen, the, the range is the same. It's from midnight to 7.30 AM. So this is the same in both accounts. There's one more difference in these uh, in this account here. I use a break even stop, and this is what we saw, for example, here yesterday uh, for the uh, USD Japanese Yen trade. This was the losing trade in the first account that I showed you. But in this account, we see that after the trade is 300 points in profit minimum. This was around here. Uh, the stop loss is moved to the break even level. So when the price comes back, there will be no loss. So this is a difference um yeah and it was yesterday was definitely a good decision to use this break even stop but i did not make this decision it's just what i told the robot um, the expert advisor to do so this is the second account that i will be talking about then we have a third account which is also a 10k ftmo challenge and this is really similar to the account that I showed you before. So everything is the same. The range times are the same. The break even stop is also used here. The only difference is in this account, every position is open with 0.1 lot. And in the other account that I showed you before is always 0.5% of the account. So the lots are calculated on the account balance. So this is um, yeah the third account. And yeah, we will have a look at the metrics later on. Let me show you the fourth account quickly. Now we have a different strategy. <clears throat> Even if it is still traded with a range breakout expert advisor, the idea is completely different. This is a account where I trade stocks. It's another 100k FTMO challenge. The risk per trade here is 0.75%. And here you can see when the market opens, it is 1630 server time here. Again, FTMO is GMT plus two. And then we have one and a half hour for the range to build to 17, uh, yeah, to 18 o'clock actually. Wait, why is it 17.55 showing here? Yeah, no, it's right. So at 18 o'clock, the, um, the range is completely built and the orders are placed. And here we do not place a order at the top and the bottom of the range. We only place an order at the upper end of the range. So we are only going long in this account. And the idea is that we will benefit from an increasing economy. And statistically or historically, stocks should go up more than they go down, at least if it's not like a complete BS stock. But here I think I picked some of the better stocks or that have a good upside potential. And also they have relatively low trading costs with FTMO, which was also one of my main um, uh, decision uh, categories. And yeah, here, so we are only going long, long. This is why you can see, for example, Tesla had this short breakout yesterday, but it was not traded by the expert advisor because it only uses long or buy stop orders. And this is why Amazon had a trade yesterday. And this account is currently up about 3%. And we will see this in the metrics again later in a second. And then this is the last account. This is um, the account that I trade for the shortest time now and it's only in profit 100 uh, usd so it's more or less break even in this account where i trade 0.5 percent of the account with every single trade and i trade um, two major stock market indices so the german index and the us index and here the strategy is really similar to the stock trading account uh, i only go long or the expert advisor is um, designed to only place buy orders and then, um, yeah, the stop loss is for the German index is also a little bit different because it's 1.5 times the range. So the stop loss is not on the other side of the range, but a little bit uh, further below. <clears throat> and then uh, in US 30, it's the normal stop loss at the other side of the range. And here again, I only trade long and I close the trades at the end of the day or at a specified 
time. So these are the strategies that I am currently trading in FTMO. So let's have a look at how it turned out in the last few weeks or months. So here we are now in my FTMO membership area. You can see here, these are all the FTMO challenge. You can also, of course also compare the logins to the accounts that are just showed you before if you do not trust me that these are the accounts. So you can see in total I have six challenges here. Five of them um, I showed you before. This is another project which is uh, right now still secret and um, I, I don't know if I will talk about this in the future um, but it's some it's one account that I do not trade myself. But yeah, more about this maybe in the future, but it's not important to you right now. So the accounts that I just talked about um, before and that I showed in the live streams before and that I just explained before are following now. So let's have a look at these accounts. This is um, the first account that I showed you where I trade the range breakout expert advisor and the 100k account with, um, oh no, actually this is the account where I trade the uh, stocks or the stock indices. You can see it's only nine trading days. So this is where I trade the German index, German, Germany 40, and the US index, US 30. And you can see this account is, yeah, it's, there are only a few days and um, the maximum performance or profit was around 350 or 60, then it was down um, 1000 US dollar and now it's more or less break even. So not really a lot to talk about here. It's not like super interesting and there's not a lot of statistics of course because not much is going on. So let's handle this quickly. You can see here both um, symbols are currently in profit by just some peanuts. Uh, so it's not really important. So let's go to the, to the next account quickly here. So this will be a little bit more, more interesting. I think this is now the, the stock trading account. And yes, it is by just having a look at the equity, I can pretty much tell that this is the stock trading account. And yeah, you can see here, so this account was up um, a little bit first, then there was a smaller drawdown of 3% and now it recovered from this drawdown and from the lowest point it made 4% now in the last two weeks, I think. And right now this is up 3.1% on the 100K. So you can see, um, the yeah the rules are of course all intact or the objectives and the minimum trading days are also reached it's 22 days already that i have this account maximum daily loss was 1.4 percent maximum loss 1.3 so you can see everything is just really in a, in a solid a solid state here and it's still of course far away from the profit target but i will keep you updated in the next in the next days here and um, yeah, then we can also see the statistics here. Pause the video if you're interested. Profit factor is really great in this account so far. Also, there's a huge win rate, but of course, this is highly correlated to the overall growth of the economic and also, of course, of major indices and everything because I'm just trading stocks. Let's have a look at the um, separated uh, stock performance here. And you can see Tesla is right now the only stock that is not making profits because, yeah, if you have a look at the Tesla chart, it was going down or sideways in the last few days. So it's not really a uh, surprise here. Apple is doing really great. Amazon also doing really great. And Meta is also in profit, which is great. So this is for the stock trading account. Now we have the three accounts left. Three, where I trade the range breakout system in USD, Japanese Yen and GBP, US dollar. These are the accounts that I trade for the longest time now. I think nearly two months now. Yeah, you can see here, this is the 100K account where I trade 0.5% per trade and no break even stop. This was actually, yeah, first of all, when I started, there was a drawdown of 2.5%. Then there was a really good rally here where the account made around 6%, like calculated from the lowest point and it was 3.7% in profit. And now there's another drawdown, which took uh, away like 4% from the very top of this chart. So this means that, of course, the objectives are still intact and yeah, we're still doing okay here, I would say. And um, then the profit target is, of course, not reached and there's still a really far, a long way to go. It was looking way better, but yeah, there were some news uh, and some really bad uh, sideways moves that made this account suffer a lot. Let's have a look at the statistics. Again, pause this if you're interested. 
and then we can have a look at the symbols and yeah the GBPUS dollar even though there was a really good trade yesterday is not as good as USD Japanese yen and USD Japanese yen is still performing way better but we will see how this develops in the future. Now let's have a look at the smaller two accounts where I trade the uh, same strategy pretty much but in the 10k account and um, yeah actually it's not the same strategy like the basis is the same but these two accounts you can see it here they are performing way better and this is mainly because of the break even stop because in these sideways sideways markets in the US uh, dollar Japanese yen this is really improving uh, the, the performance and it's really making the performance a lot better so you can see the performance here is looking just way more stable compared to the 100k account so let's have a look at the um, objectives here of course objectives are still intact and uh, yeah on the left side right now I have uh, the account where I trade the fixed lot size so this is the account with the fixed lot size and you can see the performance is really kind of stable and this on the right side here is the account where I have the variable lot size and there are some bigger um, changes in the in the in the in the balance curve but yeah let's have a look at the statistics here again this is for the fixed lot size account with 0.1 lot for every single trade this is for the variable lot size account where I trade 0.5 percent for every single trade and then of course we can also scroll down to the bottom and let's have a look at the symbols actually in the account where I trade the um, the fixed lot size GBPUS dollar is also profitable which is really interesting because in the variable lot size I'm pretty sure it's not yeah, so you can see also choosing the lot size for your strategy or for your account can make a difference. So yeah, this is um, the small overview um, over the FTMO project that I have right now. Um, yeah, I know this video was maybe a little bit chaotic if you are not really into this uh, into these projects and if you haven't watched the streams before. Maybe in the next videos I will be able to make this a little bit more like clean from the uh, from the video structure so you will be able to follow along but yeah in the end let me know in the comment section if you want to see this if you want to uh, be up to date with these projects because as i said I, I think i will not do a lot of live streams here from thailand because the time schedule is just not really fitting for me and um, i'm just uh, yeah staying up too long then i'm um, tired the next day uh, and it's not really working out for me but I, I still want to keep you updated because I want to um, yeah, show you the projects from the beginning until the end yeah doesn't matter if I will be profitable in the end or if I will lose in the end I just want to be I want to show a transparent and honest a trading experience with you guys and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your feedback in the comments so this is it have a great time thanks for watching I'm out bye